Welcome folks for our second video on fields. I really want to focus on uh, Z mod PZ. But as a lead in, let's recall the following. Okay, so earlier on in this class, we saw that the real numbers under addition was an abelian group. And then if you removed zero, we saw that under multiplication, that's still an abelian group. I'm use, using those quotes to mean still an abelian group. Okay, then the same thing happened for the rational numbers under addition, that was an abelian group. And if you remove zero under multiplication, that was an abelian group. And then the same thing happened for the complex numbers. Maybe I won't write it down, but the complex numbers are an abelian group under addition. And then if you remove zero, they're an abelian group under multiplication. Okay, another example of this is Z mod PZ under addition. That's an abelian group. You know, we know and love it. You don't even need P to be prime for that to be an abelian group, right? Z mod NZ under addition is always an abelian group. And then we considered UN or UP. This was under not addition mod N or P, but multiplication mod N or P. Okay. So maybe, maybe let me replace this N, this P here with an N. N is any arbitrary integer I use P when I'm talking about a prime integer, okay? For any integer N, Z mod NZ is an abelian group and UN under multiplication mod N is an abelian group. Okay, what are the elements of Z mod NZ? It's zero all the way up to N minus one. UN is not all of those elements. UN is all of those elements relatively prime to N, meaning no common divisors with N. So for example, you know, Z10 is zero all the way up through 10. U10 by contrast is just the numbers one, three, seven, and nine. Those numbers less than 10 that are relatively prime. Okay, so however, for P prime, UP is all the numbers, and I should say all those numbers, um, you know, at least one that are relatively prime to N. You never want zero in a multiplicative group, because one's your multiplicative identity and zero can't have a multiplicative inverse. So if I ask when P is prime, what is UP? Well, it's all the numbers from one up to P minus one that are relatively prime to P. But since P is prime, that means it's everything. So this is one, two, all the way up to N minus one, okay? So people don't really use this notation but this is really Z mod PZ star. It's Z mod PZ once zero has been removed, okay? So when you're trying to build a field, you need a single set that's an appealing group under addition, and then you can only remove zero and you need to get an appealing group under multiplication, right? That works for all of these, and it works for Z mod PZ when P is prime because Z mod PZ is an abelian group under addition. You remove the single element zero and you get this group UP, which is an abelian group under multiplication, okay? It doesn't work, however, for Z mod NZ when, when N is not prime. Um, so for example, Y is Z mod 6Z 
not a field. Let's think about this a little bit. And let me give myself more room. All right. So why is Z mod 6Z not a field? Okay. So um, additive inverse is zero, or sorry, additive identity is zero. Let's remove zero and ask why is Z mod 6Z with zero removed, which is the numbers one, two, three, four, and five. Why is this not an abelian group under multiplication, right? I mean, four times five is still the same as five times four. Multiplication commutes, but the answer is since, you know, two times three is equal to zero, right? When, when I remove zero, sure, I've removed zero, but I'm left with this problem where two times three is equal to zero. So these numbers from one to five are not a group under multiplication mod six because two times three is equal to six or zero. So, you know, I don't even, multiplication is not even a binary operation on the set because I take two numbers in the set, two and three, I multiply them. Mod six, I get an element that's not in the set. So it's, it's not a, um, once I remove zero, it's not a, an abelian group under multiplication because multiplication is not even a binary operation after I remove zero. All right, so the point of this video was to just talk a little bit more about why Z mod PZ is a field for P prime. It relates to this UN notation that we've been using earlier in the class. Um, fields have addition, and then when you remove zero, you get an abelian group under multiplication, and that still works in Z mod PZ when P is prime, but it fails when P is not prime.